As long as I can get there, I'm fine. I try to enjoy the process. I try to enjoy the journey. This medium is alive. I try not to choose the subject. I let it choose me. My name is Keiko Tanabe. I'm a watercolor artist. I don't really have anything in mind. I just, you know, choose a location and I walk around and just be there in the moment and try to feel, you know, the atmosphere. After a while, something clicks in my mind and, and I know that's when I found the subject. So sometimes it could be a specific thing maybe a reflection in the pond, or it could be, a, you know, just light, have strong headlights in a car in a city street. It could be anything. It could be a, just a color. It could be, a, you know, the general atmosphere or the mood. So, but there's something inside the scene where I am evokes emotions inside me because that's more important to me, how I feel about the subject, how I connect to the subject that I'm seeing in front of me. I look for the tonal contrast. If I see it in any subject, you know, there's a potential, I could try to paint it. If it's totally flat tonally, I know it will be a challenge. And also edges. I like to create a balance of hard and soft edges. So if I see that, that's perfect. But I'm just happy that I found, you know, this path. But, but the people you meet uh, in the art community, you know, it's just so rich. You know, we all have different backgrounds, different experiences, different stories. And so, you know, this is an incredible environment. I'm so happy to be here. I, when I talk to people, especially people who come to my workshops, and, you know, the, it's, it's amazing. People come from all kinds of, you know, different backgrounds. You know, the teaching to me is, uh, you know, of course, I'm helping my students and I'm also sharing this passion with like-minded people. That's, you know, it's really fantastic because uh, they help me a lot, they inspire me a lot. So it's really a two-way stream. I think it's artist's responsibility to find the best materials that's good for them. And I mean, technically, we, we need to learn techniques uh, as an artist, but at the same time, uh, we have to spend time and uh, devote our energy to to experiment with the materials. Uh, helps us improve our skills, you know, if you use the better materials. By choosing watercolor, because it's so fluid, working with water, and I try to control water is impossible. I learned it hard way, because in the, in the beginning, I was just making a mess when I used watercolor. You know, to make a decent painting, it never happened. So when I decided to let go myself in my painting, and of course, it was difficult, but it felt so good. I guess I started uh, to apply that sort of philosophy in my life as well. The watercolor has a mind of its own, and uh, you just have to live with it. Just like my painting, I, I don't really like planning. You know, I just let things happen. So I'm excited about it, I'm a little scared. But, you know, I hope that I'll be painting for the rest of my life and because it's my true passion. I just let it happen, you know, so that's an exciting part. So I'm looking forward to what's ahead of me.